Hello, good morning. This is Ray Salazar, and you're listening to The Morning Reel. And if you're on YouTube, you're watching The Morning Reel. Three to four, it's a 100 minute or so podcast of films that I review of all kinds, of all colors, all nationalities from 1909 to 2024. Today, me and my special guest, XG Guerrero of the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast, GPS, also known as George Perez Stories, and the famed Tim Foyle Hat podcast. XG, I welcome you back, and thank you for even pitching this film to me to want to review. Oh, dude, it was it, it broke the conspiracy internet a little bit, just a little bit. Really? A little, yeah. Was your favorite character Kevin Bacon's character? Kevin Bacon did play a good character, but he did. Uh, he did. He played it, yeah, and he played it. Uh, but he's not that though. If you get what I he mean? He ended Kevin, up being that way. Yeah, but he, Kevin, Kevin Bacon, he's he's very democratic he's not preparing for the world how the character he played is supposed to be that's supposed to be a a right uh a right, right winger, trumper yeah. maga get out of my way january 6th type of dude but he did play a good part i'm not hating it but if you know who he is that's not who he really is at all low-key what i got out of that character it's funny because we haven't even talked about the movie period <laughs> but like that character itself you know i didn't get no racist vibes no bigot type vibes it was just the guy who's like, hey, man, the world's gone to shit overnight. That's it. I'm a new, This is who I am now, dude. Yeah. And sorry. Not sorry. You think Fucked up. Yeah, so let's go. Let's start back from the movie. All right, let's start back yeah. from the movie. All right. Leave the world behind. I'm not going to leave this world behind. It's 2023 <laughs> American apocalyptic psychological thriller film written and directed by Sam Esmail. I don't know who that is. But this film is based on the book called Leave the World Behind by Human Alam. It's crazy. Produced by Julia Roberts, whoop, whoop, Marissa Yaris Gill, Lisa Gillen, Sam Esmail, and Chad Hamilton, starring Julia Roberts, Mahershala Ali, who's fucking great in this film, Ethan Hawke, who's pretty good, this chick named Mayhala. <laughs> Come on, this dog. This chick? The only the only hot thing on the whole movie. The only attractive, you yeah. know, young female in this yeah. film. Julia for, Roberts. You know, Julia Roberts nowhere to be seen when this girl was walking around. Julia, honestly, when I saw Julia, I was like, she still she still got it, dog. She still Her got age, it. yeah. She I mean, still got it. Cinematography, Todd Campbell. Good cinematography. Edited by Lisa Lasek. Music by Mac Quayle. Production companies, SML Core, Red Arm Films, Higher Ground Productions, and I hate saying this, but God damn it, distributed by Netflix. Yay, Netflix. Wait, wait, whatever. You're not gonna not gonna give any shout outs to Obama. He was in this production. He was part of this production. Come well, on. Well, I'm reading this off of the Wikipedia, so I don't see Obama here. Okay, that might be word on the street. I might not be full credit, but I did hear it more than once. A couple people said that Obama was in on this production. Help. If he was in on this, he would be here. But then again, I'm not gonna like really go through it. But yeah. either way, I saw this film. You know, a, a couple of people wanted me to see it and see what I thought about it. When I heard about it, I was like, oh, great. Another conspiracy um, post-apocalyptic post film. What could they do different this time, right? And it's a very straightforward film to me. Um, you see shit happening. You see planes falling down from the sky. Fucking big-ass oil tankers just showing up on the shores of beaches. Fucking deer just showing up out of nowhere. Tesla's not working, ironically, right? And you know what? I was very happy to see all that shit go down. I felt Amanda's vibes, bro. Like, I get the misanthrope in her where she's like, you know what? I don't give a f I fucking hate people. And I was like, you know what? Hell yeah, dog. Hate them. Because honestly, and even though the, the speech that she gave, which is the reason why she hates people, I fucking hated that speech. I thought it was weak as far as a screenwriting point of view. I'm like, really? You're going to give her that? to conclude why she's, a, you know, the way she is. But I'm like, all right, I get it. You work in ad advertising. I get it. But whatever. Xavier, I mean, did you like this movie? Um, did you enjoy it? It's a long movie. It is long. Two hours and 20 minutes. I which, felt it was a little too fucking long, Yeah, bro. It's, it's one of the movies where you're like, okay, what's the ending? Which the ending is not that great. We'll get into the ending at the end. I hated the ending. Yeah, the ending was horrible. But I but, get it. Yeah, I get it. Kind of do get it. Yeah, I, I, I get it. But... This is considered a horror slash drama movie. Horror. It's called predictive programming. This this is what category this is. It's called predictive programming. This this is this is like COVID movies before COVID happened. 
This is going to happen, people. It's going to happen. The internet will go out. And I don't know if it's China's going to take it out. I don't know if it's Russia or a solar flare. Internet will go out. Something. You got to prepare. Have water. Have cash. Don't Wait. rely on your credit card because guess what? If the internet don't work, you're broke. I laughed when Ethan Hawke, oh, you know, I don't have Apple Pay. I don't have Google. I was like, come on, dude. You need cash. He's on knows. You mean he's don't talk about this. You know what's funny? The or a gun. Or you need a gun. Because if you don't have gun and they have cash, give me your cash. I felt like, honestly, money isn't really worth shit after that, no? He just took it just because. Because you never fucking know, right? I, well, money is, think it will always be kind of worth it. To, to, to a certain extent, like let's say the internet does go out, right? Internet goes out. Yeah. And you need to get to the IE because that's where your family has an acre home. But yeah. you're low on gas. You need cash. You're gonna, it's going to be a $300 a gallon because everyone's going to be like fucking $300 a gallon. But you need cash is what I'm trying to say. Like it's, the money will start to mean less because people will start burning it just like in Germany. When the, when, when the economy crashes, people, if sometimes it's better to use that million dollars to stay warm than it is to buy anything. I was going to say, how much do you pay per barrel? Hmm? You know? By any chance, do you oh, know how much they used to burn barrel? it in Germany when, 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 when uh, I don't know what, what was the dollar called back then or their dollar, but francs, yeah, when the yeah. or some shit, and it felt it was it happened in Venezuela not too long ago. We saw yeah. pictures of people literally using uh, making art out of fucking Venezuelan dollars and selling it. That's crazy, that's wild, but that's what happens when the economy falls. And be ready, people have water, be a bitch. I'm always stocked up on weed. As a stoner, <laughs> I'm always afraid that the apocalypse is going to come through and I got no weed for it. It is essential for a stoner, dog. I got I got shrooms. I always got shrooms and I got a little it's bit of It's hard to say if it's really essential, but I get your point. Well, if the world's going down, you need a little bit of weed. You know, and you're like, fuck, I could use a joint. I just saw it for a zombie. You know, you could, yes, yeah. what you're going to say. When shit hits the fan, you'll be like, bro, I could use a dab right now. Not, It's not essential, but when shit hits down. <laughs> Shoot the shoot the joint. Shoot my head off. So for those who don't really know about the film or forgot about the film, because you're all so fucking high watching it, because like, oh my god, you know what? I'm gonna get high because this is too much for me. So Amanda, played by Julia Roberts, and Clay, played by Ethan Hawke. Amanda decides, hey, you know what? Let's take an Airbnb weekend trip, random, to Long Island or whatever, you know. So they go. They notice things aren't working or, you know, kind of spazzing out. The little girl can't see the season finale. Well, the series finale of French, which I'm like, I get it. She's a little kid. That's what she wants out of everything. She can like totally did you, get on with the world as soon as she finishes that. Did you think that was going to have anything to do with the rest of the movie? The French thing? I, th I think I was watching it. it. I was watching. It I was like, why is friends such being mentioned like so much i was like this has to do it's because it's funny because friends wasn't really targeted for like little kids right it's for like teens i was and, like, weirded out adults. because she shouldn't be liking that that's for she shouldn't be liking that and she was talking about the west wing like dude you watch the west wing yeah like, it's an adult show but here's the thing like from what i feel right it's just the world's going to shit this is the last piece of my innocence well, that's it after that like you don't want to face the world. And that's what kind of people are nowadays, right? Like, they don't want to, they want a free ride. They don't want to face the world that, like, what it, I mean, they face it, but it's like, they would rather do something else, you know? And But something like this, you got to face it no matter what. You can't back out of it. You can't turn your, turn your cheek and all that stuff. I mean, that's what I got out of it. I don't know about you. That was a trip. Could I mean, wrong. you know me as a conspiracy theorist. I was like, man. All right, so what's the conspiracy on that? Okay, they played the movie Friends, right? Yeah. Who died not too long ago from Friends? Come on. Dog, dog, that's just a, what, what a coincidence. Like, you didn't Chandler. think that. Dude, that fool was on ketamine. Starting hard. But there was no ketamine even being mentioned in this film. I don't know. It's just like, what a coincidence. Like, what, out of any movie, you're going to pick the guy that dies. There's so many sitcoms. So many sitcoms. So many. You're gonna pick Friends, and I know it's it's huge. I'm not I'm not dude. I I to this I don't like Friends. Every chick I date likes Friends, so I have to watch Friends. Thankfully, I've never met any chick that I've dated who liked Friends. So. Bro, I have met chicks that go to sleep to Friends. I was like, it's because you have no friends. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. 
<laughs> so Ruth and GH, they show up, right? Just like in the middle of the night because they notice as well, like, hey, fucking shit's going down, literally. You think they were getting scammed at all? In the uh, beginning, I was nah, like, yo, this is a scam. Gun. I thought it was like a horror movie where they were going to go to sleep and then they were going to be like, give me your gun, give me your shit type of deal. And honestly, that's a pretty good, like, as far as screenwriting is concerned, like, they wrote Amanda's character to be like that enough for, like, to, em, enough to move the plot around, which is great because there's not really much of a plot in this fucking film. It's just basically, okay, we know things are happening. What could we do? But realistically, you can't really do shit. They couldn't even get out, like, yeah. I don't know, two miles so, from their location. If you look at how many actors there were, there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They paid twelve people. That's who they paid. And remember the Mexican chick. That's one of the only characters in there. Is that Mexican chick in the Man, middle of the road? I felt, I felt bad for that lady. I felt bad and fuck, it, dude. But that's the thing you changed. No, this is why no. when you asked me about what I thought about um, Kevin Bacon in that movie about Danny, yeah, um, he shouldn't have helped Ethan Clay. Or, or, or Clark. Ethan Hart, or he Clay. shouldn't have helped Clay. Clay. Want to know why? Why? Because he didn't help out the Mexican. It's true. That's when I was watching. I was like, nope, nope. You can't pick and choose, dog. You can't be a good person and expect someone to help you out when you didn't help someone out. And all she wanted to, yeah. all you had to do was get in the car. There was there was space. Your house had space. Right. You had. You could have helped out the senora, and you left her in the middle of the in the middle of the fucking uh -huh. freeway for no reason. Don't give that full medicine. Shoot but that then boy. again, this is the first time that man has ever been in a situation like that. It's like you can't really think. And honestly, I don't know because I don't. We don't know, right? We don't really know. We just know what we see, and what we see is a man who who can barely even take control of his own life, especially around his marriage, around his kids, or whatever. There's no way he has that capacity to handle that situation oh, yeah, alone. Yeah. That's how a cuck acts. That's that's yeah. that's a cuck, dog. Like his wife, Julia Roberts, said, we're going on vacation. And I'm telling I'm saying where. I'd be like, first of all, I got to work. Where Second of all, going? where are we going? As a man, I'm weekend? like, there's a you lot of questions. It's the weekend. You don't got to work. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of questions, though, yeah. as a man, that I'm just going to get in the car and say, okay, all right. And then you're going to make me drive? Okay. Nah, bro, be a man. And that's what that's the definition. Fucking, you know, Danny? Yeah. His wife don't tell him we're going on vacation and we this don't is see where his we're wife, going. Though. We don't know. Uh, but he but because he's a man. <laughs> she stays inside the house. Stay inside the house. I gotta handle some situations outside. Yeah, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go into town buy all the shit that we <laughs> yeah. eat. Because that's it, man. And she's like, okay, babe, I'll make you a sandwich. Probably. And look who's better off. Julia Robert dead. Well, she's not dead. They're I'm not, assuming. It's funny, nobody really dies. Don't, in this exactly, film. you're right. But we do witness people dying, you know, like the planes. Oh, the explosions, the gunfire, like shit's fucking going down. Well, I mean, do you think, I mean, obviously, but do you think the mom died, the wife? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because the planes were going down. If you're right? in midair and like everything <laughs> just shuts down, that's Ezone's worst nightmare. Oh, yeah. Worst that's nightmare. That's the worst Ezone's nightmare. The plane don't work and now I'm stuck in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. Because he hates both of those. Might, <laughs> as, well drown, might, as, well, might as well drown myself. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. You got to survive. No, nah, but, and then it wasn't creepy, but they kind of made Clay look creepy. A little bit, I guess. I don't, I don't really get the, I don't really got the vibe from him like that. Especially when he was hanging out with, with um, Ruth. In the pool? Vaping and shit. Yeah. And that's, but that's her mentality though. She's just saying all these things, but she don't really fucking know for sure. But one thing she does know is the fact that Amanda, she is a bigot. She is fucked up. You think she's racist? I can't say she's full on racist, but for sure, she can't trust people that's not her fucking skin color. Not that's, to say that's that. That's the racist. To, okay, but at the same time, she's not saying like, "Oh, this guy ain't shit" or "This girl ain't shit." I just cannot be around these people. Okay, and look, look, look. I don't know. That's why. That's the way I define it no, in this film. A hundred percent. And you're like, she's not racist. And I agree because you can't pin races on her. Because like but you don't think a lot of people live like that where they're racist, but they just live barely on the edge where ah, uh, but I'm not racist. I don't say the n-word. Right. Uh, yeah, that's where she's at. Where I don't say the n-word. Not yet. Uh, not exactly. Where she's like, she's just waiting for like you. You hit her, she's gonna say the n-word. Yeah. But honestly, the good thing that this film did for these characters, especially like on the third act, is that Clay he confessed. He fucking left that woman behind. He feels very bad about it, even though he's fucking vaping his ass off and shit. Probably, you know, a little drunk. Yeah. And Amanda, 
when um, GH told her, like, hey, man, like, I'm not going to see my wife again. I miss her a lot. And you can feel that, bro. You can, you can feel that. She feels that, like, fuck, man, like, I'm a fucked up person. And not only that, when the man and Roof were at the cabin, when all the deer was surrounding yeah. them and they were all screaming their asses off, she protected her. Yeah. She, she, you know, not that she wasn't she's supposed to. She's not racist. To. That's what I mean. That's the part of not yeah, being racist. Because a racist not. person would have been like, fuck you. Fuck you. And that's it. I like the film. It's good. It's not bad. I, I Honestly, I would give it three tokes out of four. I just felt like it wasn't that much of a impactful script. And it's funny because I was trying to like feel it. And I did feel it, but like really towards the end of the film, the film was kind of slow sometimes. I just didn't feel that. I know we saw planes flying and all these yeah. little crazy shit and like the animals migrating and all that. I Overall, that bullshit, which is not really bullshit. These ones coughing his ass off right now. It's great. Sorry. All good. All good. I like it. <laughs> all good. My ringtone. Feeling all that, seeing all that shit, I just didn't feel it. It's like it's a film that I couldn't like really attach myself to the characters even though I attach myself to the situation they Those needed more I, what I mean well, I kind of get what you mean when that when the um, what is it called that ship the cargo ship yeah the, when the cargo ship when the, when the character where the cargo ship comes in there should have been more reaction to that Fuck yeah, you see people on their phones. Fuck yeah, shit. people are chilling, kind of not acting like it's a big deal. It should have been all over the news. I would have been calling everybody. I'm like, bro, did you just see what happened? Yo. No news. There's no... There's no, nothing, works. nothing. I got to ask you though. But nothing works though. That's oh, true with the planes. The planes and then, yeah. and, then the, and then the... I ain't going to lie. At one point, I thought the the public service announcements, the emergency things. Yeah. I thought this was all an inside job from the two black people. You get what I mean? Because at one point, yeah, I thought this... no shit. At one point, I kind of thought this was like a... Like one of those like scam, like a hostel movie where like they, they get an Airbnb and then they kill you in the movie. Yeah. Kind of like yeah. it also turns out shit's really hitting the fan. No, shit was really you hitting see, people. Y'all would have that would have been the script right there. I would have been the more fucking like crazy. That yeah. would have been worth two hours and 20 minutes. Yeah. But, but what up as a married man, married man, Ray, I got to ask you, Go for it. did Amanda cheat with George? Do you consider that cheating when they're downstairs playing the vinyl? She's whoring out. He's got a major heart on. and Doesn't have a heart on, people. <laughs> Dog, it's Julia Roberts. But it's Julia homie, Roberts. With a, and the world's going down. Yeah. You're a little horny. But that's sketchy, huh? It is sketch. That's sketchy as fuck, that's sketch. dude. But then again, they're drunk. That's, but then again, you're right. It's sketchy as fuck. If I would have found out about it, especially during these end times, that's not going to change, like, I'm not going to not do nothing about it. I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to be like, yeah, what the fuck bro. are you doing? You know what? Fuck out of here type of thing. I don't know. What do you think about uh, Homeboy's teeth falling out? That's crazy, man. And you said it was a conspiracy about that. I thought it was the bug that bit him because so they, that's was, what they so, said in the so movie. So that's what they said in the movie. It's they called, the there's movie. a lot of, there's a lone, the, uh, lone Star Tick. If you ever heard of the Lone Star Tick? It's, nope. a, it's a tick that if it bites you, you can become allergic to red meat. Damn. You barely got to be basically got to yeah. become a vegetarian. That's for real. It's becoming a thing. It's not common, but it can happen to some people. And there's like these ticks that go around the Lyme disease. You get that from ticks. So who knows? Like everyone says, uh, uh, COVID was made in the lab. You don't know if they can make a new thing that makes your teeth fall off. But they have said that this could be uh, the Havana syndrome. You ever heard of the Havana syndrome, the Cuban Havana syndrome? Okay. I don't know nothing about that. In Cuba, um, they would do like these... Spray? No, these uh, like Wi-Fi, like uh, oh, like five G signals, five like G signals to um embassies in Cuba or uh, Russia would do it to embassies in the United States, and people were getting like headaches, right? Like for real, for yeah, real. yeah, yeah. And like they looked it up, and it was Russia throwing these beams at like a U.S. embassy. They're trying to say that that's like that could happen, and they're saying that that could yeah. have been part of the Havana syndrome where your teeth fall off. But that's scary. Imagine waking that up and scary. a whole fucking molar comes off, and you're like looking at it because it don't hurt. Right? They get five bucks from the tooth fairy. Overall, even though I didn't like this, look, I enjoyed the film. I just don't think it's like that great of a fucking film. But people should go see it either way because, like AI, you know, the film, this shit could really happen. That's the thing that I really liked about this film overall is the fact that, I mean. We don't know for sure if they got this film 100% right, but I do believe that things in this film that happened 
can 100% happen. And, and in fact, like, don't be, um, don't be ignorant about it. It, 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 it could happen exactly like that, even worse. I believe that there's technology out there, like you said, the Havana syndrome where with sonar or whatever can really fuck us up. And if, if Russia or China or fucking North Korea teamed up and wanted to do that, they will fucking crank that shit so fucking high, we'd be fucking dead out of these fucking things. What Ray said, right? Like what Ray says is, is important. China? Yeah, we can fuck China up. Yeah. Russia, we can fuck Russia up. What if they fucking team up? But I won't leave the world behind. And I will conclude that. Xavier, thank you for pitching this film to me. It was a fun film to watch, fun to talk about. Can you give people your shout outs, what you're going to be up to? Uh, hit that like button, subscribe, listen to We Don't Smoke the Same. Ray's always on producing the show. It's always a good time. And uh, if you like anything like this, go ahead, check out Tinfoil Hat. We have a whole episode that went deep, deep, deep down the rabbit hole. We had a whole guest that's into um, movie pop culture conspiracy. So if you like that rabbit hole, go check out that episode of Tinfoil Hat. I want to check that. You, you know what? Send me the link to that. I, wanna I got you. Put yeah, that on perfect. The description and shit. Follow me on Morning Shot Films, IG, and YouTube. Check out my website, morningshotfilms.co, where I put this podcast out. We'll host it. And you can check out my gallery. I made some prints, some pretty cool photos to put in your home or in your studio or in your office. Believe me, it's worth it. And the prices are very, very reasonable. And check out We Don't Smoke the Same podcast. Just for five bucks, you can see the craziness that me, Xavier, and Ezone go through. Hosted by Xavier and Ezone. Thank you. And... Next one.